Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Hearty welcome to each one of you, my dear sisters and brothers, as we celebrate this Eucharist on a Saturday. I bring to you many of the intentions that we people have uh, asked to pray for. Daughter's birthday, for a couple having problems in marriage, gift of a house, peace in my family. This is particularly sad. If, please pray for my dad, passed of COVID, mother who passed a month later, COVID related illnesses. Somebody in neighborhood had a special brother, old mother, thyroid cancer, blockage in the intestines, examination, CBSE, pray that a legal suit is withdrawn, decision in marriage, adoption of a child, pray for a life partner, the sacerdotal uh, golden jubilee of a priest in Hyderabad. We pray for all these intentions. Any intentions that you might have, asking God's mercy, generosity, goodness, to shower on these people and help them. Let us now put ourselves in God's presence and ask his forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You come to make all things new, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the childbearing of the Holy Virgin graciously reveal the radiance of your glory to the world, grant we pray that we may venerate with integrity of faith the mystery of so wondrous an incarnation and always celebrate with due reverence this sacrifice through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever Amen Can you sit? A reading from the book of Judges In those days there was a certain man of Sora, of the tribe of the Danites, whose name was Manoah. And his wife was barren and had no children. And the angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Behold, you are barren and have not borne children, but you shall conceive and bear a son. Therefore, be careful, and drink no wine or strong drink, and eat nothing unclean. For behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. No razor shall come upon his head, for the child shall be called a Nazarite to God from the womb, and he shall begin to save Israel from the hand of the Philistines. Then the woman came and told her husband, A man of God came to me, and his appearance was like the appearance of the angel of God, very awesome. I did not ask him where he was from, and he did not tell me his name. But he said to me, Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. So then drink no wine or strong drink, and eat nothing unclean, for the child shall be a Nazarite to God from the womb to the day of his death. And the woman bore a son and called his name Samson. And the young man grew, and the Lord blessed him. And the Spirit of the Lord began to stir him.
the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Your response, my mouth is filled with your praise and I will sing your glory. Please repeat. My mouth is filled with your praise and I will sing your glory. Be my rock, my constant refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. My God, free me from the hand of the wicked. Response, my mouth is filled with your praise and I will sing your glory. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb, you have been my help. Response. My mouth is filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. I will come with praise of your might, O Lord. I will call to mind your justice, yours, O Lord, alone. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and I proclaim your wonders still. Response. My mouth is filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. And we stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, O root of Jesse's stem, sign of God's love for all his people, come to save us without delay. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah of the division of Abijah. <clears throat> and he had a wife from one of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. They were both righteous before God, walking blamelessly in all the commandments and statutes of the Lord. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren. Both were advanced in years. Now, while he was serving as priest before God, when his division was on duty, according to the custom of the priesthood, he was chosen by lot to enter the temple of the Lord and to burn incense. And the whole multitude of the people were praying outside at the hour of incense. And there appeared to him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And Zechariah was troubled when he saw him and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. And your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son. You shall call him John, and you will have joy and gladness. Many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great before the Lord. And he must not drink wine or strong drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient of, to the wisdom of the just. To make ready for the Lord a people prepared. And Zechariah said to the angel, how shall I know this? I am an old man, my wife is advanced in years. And the angel answered him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. I was sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. And behold, you will be silent and unable to speak until the day that these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time. And the people waiting for Zechariah, they were wondering at his delay in the temple. When he came out, 
he was unable to speak to them and they realized that he had seen a vision in the temple and he kept making signs to them and remained mute. When his time of service was ended, he went to his home. And after these days, his wife Elizabeth conceived. And for five months, she kept herself hidden, saying, Thus the Lord has done for me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among the people. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear religious sisters, fathers, families and friends, the first reading, as you must have recognized, realized at the very end of the father's reading, uh, this is all about Samson, how he was born miraculously and uh, he was given strength. The mother was barren. This is a story. And we have a com comparatively different but same principle, same message that here Zechariah and Elizabeth have uh, also uh, have a child. They were she was barren, not getting a child, and miraculously, God intervened. There's so much really to speak about over here, but I'll, I'll just take a few points. The, the gospel is all about the message of the angel, gave, angel Gabriel to Zechariah. See, Zechariah was of the priestly family, as we heard at the very beginning, and Elizabeth also came one of the daughters of Aaron. Now, she was just a conclusion. She was one of the, she was a cousin of Mother Mary, and many commentators could thus conclude that Mary was also of the same priestly family. So Jesus came from the priestly family in that sense, no? Aaron which was uh, the high priest Jesus himself. But uh, coming back to uh, Zechariah, the, the, the temple was such, uh, the people would stay outside. There was a curtain where the people would pray and inside only the priests were allowed. In that enclosure, there was another curtain which kept only the Holy of Holies, the Ark of the Covenant, the, the tabernacle, where uh, traditionally it's thought that the command, 10 commandments given by God were kept over there in that beautiful golden ark, which, is a little, which they carried with them uh, right through and, and to the Holy Land. That was again, uh, only the, at a very special moment, the high priest would enter there. Now, between this first curtain and the second curtain, there were two altars. One altar where they would offer the sacrifice. Every morning, evening, on behalf of all the people, the priest would offer sacrifice, and there would have to be an unblemished lamb, one year old, and offered up uh, to God in, in sacrifice. That was an animal sacrifice. And before that was another altar, another table, where incense was offered. And here you have, they, this priest would take, those only from the priestly family would come, but they would have turns. One week each they would have, and then it would come twice or thrice a year, they would get turns to come and uh, offer incense. Generally they said most would get twice a year. And so this was Zechariah's turn. He had to offer incense. We know what happened, and uh, he was told that God would intervene, and we know that this again, all this is pointing, as I was pointing out to you, to Jesus. Coming, John had to come to prepare for Jesus. Zechariah doubted, did not believe, because while he was praying continuously, because it, it was a considered a, a disgrace not to have a child as punishment from God. Therefore, he was praying, and she was humiliated. That's why at the very end, uh, she gives thanks to God, but hides herself. His last, God has had mercy on me, and looked at me in my old age and given me a child. He was, uh, he had this vision and then he became, because he did not believe, he did not have that full faith he, like Mary had, and, but he did not, and then so he was punished in a way and kept mute. Uh, he could not speak till John was born. He took longer because this whole episode was going on 
people wondering why uh, he suddenly did not come soon as expected. But finally, after giving incense, he kept on. He kept up his duties uh, after even afterwards, uh, offering incense to God on that altar I mentioned to you, the altar closest to the curtain. And then he you know, came, and the people understood from the signs that he had seen a vision. He had got a message. Uh, compare John the Baptist also came to prepare the people, and also Samson came to prepare the people. That's why he was, the Israelites were prepared for uh, his coming over there, uh, for the coming of Jesus, com for the coming of the Messiah, they were, and coming into the promised land. But uh, this would take uh, time. But Samson, unfortunately, used this, the, the fact that he was chosen from God for his own glory, for his own uh, pleasure, for his own advantage. And therefore, finally, he was punished. He died uh, in that, we all know the story, when he pulled the pillars down because he had uh, inhuman and superhuman strength. John also gave his life, but he gave his life in witness for Jesus and lived his life in witnessing and pointing to Jesus. Let's uh, pray once again, maybe pray to John the Baptist to help us to be witnesses of Jesus and reflect on this message which uh, Zechariah got. God appeared to him. And I'm reminded at this moment uh, as I speak about the speaking of God speaking, God speaks to us often. We must keep our ears open. Uh, Joan of Arc, in the famous play by uh, George Bernard Shaw, he wrote a play about Joan of Arc. And Joan of Arc, uh, she was seeing visions and hearing messages, and uh, she told, tells the king that I've got this message in this, and I've heard this voice, I've heard this voice. And the king finally tells her in exasperation, I think it was a dolphin, he said, voices, voices, that's the play of Bernard Shaw, voices, voices, voices. All you hear is voices. He says, why don't the voices come to me? I am the king, not you. And, and she turned on and told him, the voices come to you, but you don't listen. Uh, but you, if you had sit, sat in the fields and just listened to the voice of God, you would have heard. When the Angelus bell is rung, you just sign yourself with the cross and forget about it. But if you had truly prayed, you would hear the voices. You would hear the message uh, much after the bells had stopped ceasing. You would hear the voices and understand the message. Learn to listen. So that same message is also to us. May God bless each one of you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mist of this water and wine, we come to share in his divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we lay upon your altars, that what we bring, despite our weakness, may be sanctified by your power through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. To be right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming, proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. So with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. Without end we acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving you thanks he broke, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith savors savior of the world for by our cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence of the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress. Wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. Come the sign of peace. Christ be Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. The dawn from on high will visit us, guiding our feet in the way of peace. Let us pray. <clears throat> As we give thanks, Almighty God, for these gifts that you've bestowed, graciously arouse in us, we pray, the desire for those yet to come, that we may welcome the nativity of our Savior and honor it with minds made pure. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass said it, let's go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you for the participation. We'll see you tomorrow on Sunday. And uh, we pray for these intentions really moving with faith. They pray, uh, asked us to pray for them. We pray that God has mercy. Saturday is the day of Our Lady again. Pray to her to bless these people. Today we have the privilege of having, hearing uh, Father Joseph, uh, newly ordained priest, and he's posted at IC Church for Rivoli, and he leads us in prayer as we prepare ourselves for tomorrow, the fourth Sunday in Advent. God bless you. Thank you. 
we pray now for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus is coming, coming. Jesus is coming, coming. Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming again. Rise from your slumber, rise to welcome the taste of open, open your hearts to the Jesus is coming, coming, Jesus.